Orioles hosting the Giants. The Giants are plus 150 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 180. The over-under is eight runs. The Giants getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 148, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by... Oh, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 124, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two runs or more. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And the Orioles got hammered today by the Giants, 10 to nothing. It's supposed to be 73 degrees with 10 mile an hour winds and a 29% chance of rain tomorrow in Baltimore. Birdsong did not pitch against the Orioles last year or this year. And Kremer pitched once against the Giants last year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won 3-2. That was in San Francisco. He struck out six. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The road team's on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is both 5-5 five and five on the money line and 5-5 five and five on the run line. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The over is hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-8 is 6-3-1. and one. The Giants are 0-5 in Birdsong's last five starts. Four innings pitched, 2.6 hits, 1.6 earned runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 3.4 walks, 0.4 home runs, 79 pitches per game, 20.2 pitches per inning. So he's not pitching poorly, just no run support. The Orioles, 2-3 and three in Kremers' last five starts. Five and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.4 hits, two runs, 1.8 of which were earned, 5.8 strikeouts, 2.2 walks, no home runs, 89.8 pitches per game, 16.2 pitches per inning. So also pitching very well. He's going a little bit deeper in these games. The Giants are 4-6 and six in their last 10. They snapped their losing streak today. Five runs, eight runs, seven runs, ten runs. Shut out and a loss, shut out and a loss, three runs and a loss, and then ten runs and a win. And then the Orioles, 1-3 and three in their last four. One run, six runs, six runs, ten runs. Shut out and a loss, four runs and a win, two runs and a loss, and then shut out and the loss. I am going to take... The this this is like a catch twenty two because of how both of them have been playing lately. I'll take the Orioles with the money line. I'll take the Giants getting the runs and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.